So now we go, I'm going to taste this little dryer, blow dryer. I will, I'll be absolutely honest, I'm very new to Dutch pouring, so I don't know, I don't really know totally what I'm doing. <laughs> so we'll just have to see. Uh, so what I've done is I've mixed a base. The, the, the original ones that I would was doing, the, the original Dutch pours I tried, I think my base was a little too thick, so I've actually made this quite thin. It's about learning and helping everybody, helping, it, helping each other to learn. So let's just give it a go. So I've got this, it's a sort of merino blue, quite a pretty color. And then I've got a magenta. a lovely color I've got a purple and I don't even know if I'm making my lines too big I'm sure those who watch who've done this before will jump on and give me some advice which I always appreciate uh, I want to put some more of this blue Top this lighter blue I think it's quite pretty so what I have watched of the Dutch pores I've seen up till now they seem to spray the white paint onto the color this is very this has really got quite a lot of puff um, it's quite a sweet little thing so let's I don't know let's see I'm gonna try and move the white onto the Come the other way. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. So move it on to the, the colours. So in actual fact, I might, I think I might have got my consistency of the white fairly what good. Because when I was experimenting with this last night, I couldn't even get that white to shift. It just wouldn't budge. So. I will share the consistencies below, but now let's um, let's give it a go and blow it right out. I say this is the first time I've ever done one of these when I say first I've literally experimented I think three times my kit cups would go in the other direction and I'm just turning it around because I want to try and push that so I wonder if I've made a mistake of this little um, blower is it's very direct. I wonder if I can get those to go out a little bit more. Okay. like that uh, so it's got nice cells that's one thing I will say it's got nice cells I've seen that I've I might be ruining it now because that was actually a really pretty bit. But what I was about to say is I, I sort of must have m made a bit of a spill there that I didn't like. I 
wonder if I can get Quite nice. I quite like it. I wonder would I go anywhere else with it? I almost wish I had a little bit more color definition over this side, but maybe. And am I going to risk it by? maybe I think you can start to overplay too much and then you start to muddy stuff mm, I think I need to quit while I'm ahead so observations I think my bottom layer is good because I could move that paint around it's popped up some really nice cells, which I think is nice. Um, my feeling of that little blow dryer is it's very strong, but it kind of goes like right at, you know, it's a very, I suppose because it's got a point, because it's pointy, kind of goes, you know, it's not a wide spray. So let's try the other hair other dryers hair dryers and see what we think but before I do that I'll quickly bring you in I'll quickly bring you in and show you what it looks like so you can see I mean this is on the table but there's some really pretty cells through there look at that and I like the way it's sort of gone over the edge I like the deepness and the you know just the waviness what I would like to do now, I mean, once I've shown you the test of all these hair dryers, is maybe do a bigger canvas and sort of have a whole centerpiece and see. But it's, you know, like I say, for a first time, it's not bad. So now we're going to try this hair dryer. So um, unfortunately, the back's fallen off. Don't know why. This actually, I think this applicator works for this one, but it kept falling off, so I've taped it on. It's driving me bats when it was doing it. I've kept the same consistency on my disc. But now, let's try again and let's see what happens with this one. Um, so I've got some of the nice, I like this blue. So... I'm wondering if I put um, a certain amount down. I'm almost wondering if I could put a little bit more color down. So even as I'm going, we're learning as I, we're experimenting as we're going. <laughs> I love the magenta. It's one of my favorite colors and pores. And I tried these colors, just these three colors, but I I think you need this deeper blue as well. It just pops it a little bit more, I think. I'm definitely putting more color into this one than I did in the last one with the little blower. Maybe I'm putting too much color in, I don't know. I'm gonna put a little bit more magenta because I just love it. I might be making it too magenta. You never know. And a bit more purple and another line of blue. So you can definitely see I've put another, I have definitely put a bit more color into this one than I did the last one. Now, let's see. I'm going to try and spray blow up. Right 
So that's on slow flow. Try to. Oh, this is actually quite hard to control the 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 the, um, the hectic. How hectic the the. Let's see if I can get the right to go over there. Okay. So I think I've got. I'm losing a lot of my color already. All right. Let's go for it. On full blast. Okay, I think that's a flop. <laughs> I'm going to push some color down the center and I'm going to see what happens when we do that. So that's interesting. So I played around with that blower last night and it seemed to be a bit of a nicer blower, but maybe not. I like what I've done there. I've sort of, so now I'm going to do the same thing again. And I'm going to try and spread it out here and see what happens. So you can see more experimenting coming our way. Let me get some pink and maybe some of this blue, which save that. I haven't got that much blue, and I don't feel like making mixing up more for the the next hairdryer. Okay, you know what, I was going to try and come from that angle, but I just don't think that that's going to work for me. So, I'm going to do it this way. Let's try. <sighs> okay. This is a really nice bit. It's, it's obviously that blower has got like some serious torque to it. So I'm just going to. So this is clearly, I think, not how you do Dutch pours, but I'm still just playing with it to turn it into hopefully a nice pour. Because that to me is really lovely. There. So maybe if we just push that off, I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'd like to try and keep that there. I'm trying to get that little bit there without losing too much, you know, not making the cells all a bit. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. I think now is the time to put it down. Okay, so that blower is hectic. <laughs> uh, right now the little blower is winning, in my opinion. I don't know if that blower would work better in a big, you know, if you're doing a big piece. Uh, no, I don't know. So, I'm going to bring you in to have a look at the cells in this. The cells are pretty. It's actually not a bad piece. It still looks quite nice. It's interesting. So, we've got one more blow to try. So, let's have a go. But I'll show you this first. So, here it is on the table. It has got really nice cells and a you know, real galaxy kind of feeling going on. I mean, it's interesting. 
definitely not one of my best. But given that we're trying this out to see how it all works. So the winning one for me right now is actually the little blower. But I have tried to use that little blower in bigger pores and it's been a bit frustrating. So I don't know. Obviously got to keep working at this to find the right hairdryer. And that's it from a top view. Right, so now we're on to our third one. So I was going to use this hairdryer. But you can hear... It's, it's got quite a lot of, you know, it's quite, I think it's got a lot of blow. The other thing about it, though, is it doesn't have a facility to cool, to do cool air, you know. So this literally comes out hot. And I have, one thing I have worked out is if you use a blower like this for a, a, a bit too much, it, it can start to cook your paint. Your paint starts to actually dry. So that said, I remember that I had this hairdryer. Now, <laughs> you'll wonder why I've got so many hairdryers. <laughs> I'm not a hairdryer collector. It's because I, I've i run a lot of workshops in the past. Yeah. If people were throwing out hairdryers or something, I'd say, yeah, 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 I'll have them. Because when I've run art workshops, it's they're quite handy to dry stuff. So this is not as big as that the, the, the other big dryer. It's, it's smaller. There is a cool function. So I'm wondering if it's a bit better. I couldn't find the applicator for it, so I found this and I've taped it on. Mm. Hope that that's going to be all right. I just realized I've dropped some gunk into my painting. Same consistency. I've spread my white around. Let's go for it and see what's going to happen. I've probably, the one thing I have done with this one is I might have tipped a bit more white off. Uh, not intentionally, I just was trying to get the disc covered. And maybe in doing that I tipped off a bit more than I meant to of white. So I don't know if that, so it'll be interesting to see if that's going to make a difference as well. Oh, I'm running out of all my colours. The only one I seem to have a lot of is the... Oh, I've still got some magenta, so that's okay. Is the purple. I found it more, it's stronger than I uh, probably expected or wanted. Let's go with a bit more of the magenta. Mm. Put some more purple in. I wonder if I can get what's left in that cup out. Got a little bit of the blue. Being picky now. Put in some more of this purple. So the last of the marina I've got I'll use. I don't know if I'm using too much to paint to be honest. I think I am. And I'm going to just chuck some of this. Having a bit of fun here now. Right. Most of those are finished. Except for the purple. Still got purple. Now, I'm going to try... Um, I'm going to try blow the white over the colour and then blow it out. I wonder if I should just try and blow it out. Because I haven't actually done that in each of these, have I? Should we just try and blow it out and see what happens? All right, let's go for it. Don't know if I like that. I'll try and go this way now. So, it's a better blower. If 
by far. I like the way it blows much more than the others. Um, I don't know what I think of that. I wonder if I start... So I think where I'm going is, is this is kind of what I think is the feature. So I think I'm trying to jiggity jaggy that a bit. Is that a word? Jiggity jaggity it. And I think it's working. So let's see what happens. So I don't want to jiggity jaggedy it too much and then it gets muddy. Now I want to see if I push some colour out this way. So the interesting thing about this one, I didn't blow the white on top of the color. I just blew. And I actually think that that's a better thing to do is blow the white on the color and then blow it out. Because why do I think that? Um... I don't know why I think that. I think because so when I blew it you got a lot of you know you got strong color here and then I've got softer color here because then I turned it around hmm, maybe it really didn't make that much of a difference I'm sort of looking at the other ones where I and I've you've got a similar it's, it's actually all fairly similar I think I'll have to go and watch a few more. Sorry, started blowing. A few more um, Dutch paws. I just want to sort of push that out a little bit so I balance it. There's some nice pink in here. I wonder if I'm going to ruin it if I... So why I wanted to pull that pink through a little bit more is because I've got such a strong band of pink there. Still not bad. I like that that looks, makes me think of a river. Hmm. So, what I might do now is put all three side by side. I'd say of all of them, so it, I mean, it, it's really hard to tell because it really, I think it obviously just comes down to this right kind of blower. This is a Remington. So this is a little Remington. I think I got this from, in Australia, This I got this from Kmart. So it wasn't terribly expensive. And it, you know, it's a good enough little hairdryer. I've got a whole lot of paint on it. I wonder how I did that. I must have knocked it somewhere. I hope I don't melt this applicator over time. <laughs> uh, the clear winners are the Remington, definitely. And, you know, I think it comes down to the sound of, almost like the sound of the blow. The other one, that the Tonian guy, this was quite a bit to dry my paintings and stuff. This Tonian guy, 
is a good blower, but I think it's just too strong. And I really, I still like this little one. I just wish, I wonder if there's some way, I'm going to see if I can get an applicator that looks a bit like that for the little thing. Because I think if you could get a way of dispersing that air, you would get a more even blow. Because this one's got some serious, it's got a nice amount of um, air. It's for such a little thing, it's quite impressive. So... What I will do is I'll bring all three up and then we can sort of look at them side by side and decide which one we like. But I'll bring you in for a close-up on this one. So here's the close-up. I mean, it's got lovely cells. And you see that pink coming through there? I thought of blowing out a little bit more, but I think it's enough. Um, it's got... I, I genuinely don't think I'm unhappy, given that, you know, this is all a big experiment to see how they work. Now I would probably want to sit and go on, you know, you go in closer. It's really quite lovely. Now I would want to sort of play around with some bigger pieces and see what happens. Going up higher. I think it looks, they look quite good. So here are the three of them together. It's quite hard to get in close. So this was the one that we did with the little yet orange blower. This is the big Tony and Guy blasted everywhere blower. This is the Remington softer blower. And if you remember, I changed it from this blower because this one just has only a heat setting. Whereas this Remington, I can keep it on cool and I have found when it just has a heat setting, sometimes you cook your paint. Looking at like them in all three, the, I, you know, you could put these together as a series. I think they look really nice, really different as a series. But I think I'd say this one and this one are my favorite. That one just feels a little messy to me. Whereas these feel like they have a bit of that sort of, I suppose, Dutch pour structure. And I did, like, if you, I did do this one slightly differently and I didn't put the white on top. So I probably would like to do that as another experiment is I will use the Remington and I'll blow paint over and then see how it works. But not today. That's another pour. I will bring you closer on each disc and then you can decide which one you think you like. So that's the little orange blower and you see how the sort of definition, even as it's sort of sat for a little bit, I do like it. I like the softness of that side, but the strength of that side, I think it's nice. This is the Remington. Uh, and again, I think that also looks nice. It's got some really lovely cells. It's got that nice definite kind of like line in the center, almost creating a division. I actually do like the, the big block of magenta at the end there. It's nice. And then here we got the blowed out one. The blowed out, how's that for good English? The blown out one. With the big strong machine and i will be honest i think you even picked it up as i was doing it i found it quite hard to control this one it was just a bit too hectic i do think i got my paint consistencies for the white base right uh it was and it was actually quite thin so you see what i mean so i think those i get one one and two i like three not so much but I'll be interested to hear what you guys think in the comments. And thanks for watching. And if you've enjoyed it, please like, share, comment, uh, do all that good stuff. Because I love sharing this stuff with you guys. So, And I really think arts, everyone should have an art habit. So um, when you like, subscribe in particular, and even comment, it helps to grow my channel. So I really do appreciate it.